Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm combining some canola. We're back in the canola. I think the last video, I can't remember what the last video was. It's been a few days, but we've got some uh, pretty good weather. Nice wind. Uh, yesterday was warm. It was almost in the 70s. Uh, it was all close to, I think it was 20 yesterday we got up too high. Uh, I think, what's that, 68 or something like that? So, we got all three combines. Uh, the John Deere was down yesterday. Uh, had a bunch of startup problems yesterday. Uh, the John Deere straw chopper was uh, not, didn't want to lock in its uh, extended position because we were still bailing hay from it before we started canola. And we just couldn't get it in there. But we finally got it. It took like two hours to figure out what the heck was wrong with it. And uh, then I went and got this combine and we were going with three units and uh, right around oh, 10 o'clock the John Deere 9600 blew a bearing in the main drive. So I had uh, the dealer out this morning and they had it all apart. I had to go get the parts at uh, another dealer because they didn't have it here. Uh, it was about an hour away. And uh, got her all going, and Sean is on the other side of the hill, I think. I don't know where he is. He's around here somewhere. That's Lori and the other TR. Yeah, Sean's on the other side of that hill. But yeah, Canola's is coming pretty good here. It's in the high 40s. Uh, I'm in the uh, I'm in the RTR. I call this one, the other one's four-wheel drive, so we call it the four-wheel drive, which it's a year older, but the old TR, the old girl, she's really, uh, she's really snorting in this stuff. I know these, uh, these combines put out 240, whether they have the cat or the Ford engine, diesel. Uh, I prefer the Ford diesels. I had one in the older combine, and it was Ford six-cylinder. I hate these V8 cats, 3208s. They're not my favorite. Oh, there's Sean right there. That's where he is. Anyway, they're not my favorite engine. So. And I know this one isn't putting out 240 anymore. It's a little bit down on power. So, uh, If we were going to upgrade, I don't know if I get another TR. I'd probably switch to a CR, the larger frame CRs. Because these TRs were maxed out at 17 inch rotors on each side. And uh, newer CRs are in the 24 inch rotors, foot, two feet, sorry. And uh, just overall bigger, heavier, beefier combine, so. But if I was gonna buy another TR, I'd probably get a TR99 because they were beefed up. They had over, I think 300 horse, uh, a little bit more capacity, but those are hard to find. There, but there, weren't, there weren't too many of them. Anyway. I'm just taking over for dad right now. See the my window's dirty. Dad's bringing the other truck up. So I could be going a little faster, but what am I doing? I think I'm doing ground speed. I think that's four miles an hour. Which is okay. Uh the canola's it's drying down. It's not quite dry yet, but we're gonna dry most of it. But anyway, I gotta go down. Well, I just came back from unloading the trailer. Unloaded the Kenworth trailer. This one's half full. And Sean is gone again. The John Deere is down. Still something wrong with that bearing. Sean said it he could feel a vibration that wasn't there before. And the bearing is very hot to the touch. So I'll be calling the, the dealer again. See what's going on. And I think dad is coming to unload and that will be it for him tonight. He's 
getting pretty tired. I don't know why he doesn't turn his lights on. Can't see as it is, he doesn't turn the lights on. Back in the TR again, took over for Dad. Uh, I think Sean is going to take over in here so I can go dump that cola in the bin. But uh, yeah, it's too bad about the John Deere. Something's causing that bearing to uh, get hot like that. So I'm going to call him back in the morning and see what's going on. I'm pretty much full in the back, so I gotta go dump too. So. I don't know why Lori doesn't turn his back lights on. You can't see where the combine is in the dark. Anyway, that's all for now. Uh, we've got. I don't know how many acres left we have to do. But, uh, it's listening to the Euler game too. It comes in on AM, so it comes on and off whenever it wants. It's not that great of a radio. Anyway, score is zero zero. I'm going to say uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and uh, leave your comments. I'll uh, try and get back to you.